Hey, welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel. Today we're going to finish off chapter 8 and go over into chapter 9, verses 8, 19 through 9, 2. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, but we will have a king over us, that we may be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. And Samuel heard all the words of the people, and he repeated them in the hearing of the Lord. So the Lord said to Samuel, Heed their voice and make them a king. And Samuel said to the men of Israel, Every man go to his city. There was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Bekorath, the son of Aphiah, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. And he had a choice and handsome son whose name was Saul. There was not a more handsome person than he among the children of Israel. From his shoulders upward he was taller than any of the people. Okay, so we're carrying on where we left off yesterday morning. The people have been saying to Samuel, we want a king. Samuel says, you really don't want a king. God is in the mix. Samuel talked to God and God said, this is going to be a disaster, but you know what? Give them a king, but first tell them how it will be. Samuel outlines to them how it will be very different from the time of the judges. And so then we come in in 9 1, these first two verses, we introduce a man, a man by the name of Saul. Uh, verse 2, he's choice and handsome. Uh, there's no more handsome person in all the land. And check this out from the shoulders upward, he's taller than anybody, anybody in, in all the kingdom. There's nobody as tall, as good looking. He looks like a king. Tall, burly, handsome. This guy would be a pretty good king. And we'll get that story starting tomorrow morning. Uh, what do we think about this? The people should have done what? They should have said, you know what? God is warning us through his servant Samuel not to do this. Um, let's rethink this. Let's back away from this. They should have done that. They won't do that. They won't do that. They've made a determination. We want a king like all the other nations. And being like all the other nations, they're abandoning something very special, very important, very critical for God's people. And so God's going to let them have their king. We'll see that in the next few mornings. But boy, when they get it, it's going to be not so good as they thought. And then we have this picture of Saul. Saul looks like a real winner, you know, champion guy, great on, you know, great on camera. So what can we learn from this? These people are making a bad decision. How do we apply it to our experience today? We're not in the time of the judges, and we're not in the time of the monarchy. Well, okay, wait a minute now. We're not in the time of the human monarchy. But Jesus is our king, and he is human. But what we really are looking at today is Christians today are part of a different uh, nation. We're part of a heavenly nation, and Jesus is still our king. He is both divine and human, and so today we want to serve Jesus fully and recognize that Jesus is king. Sure, we have our local president or prime minister, whatever country you might be in right now, but all that really isn't what we're talking about. We're aliens here. We're citizens of a heavenly country, but always remembering that our true citizenship is in heaven. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, the people are making a tragic uh, and epic-changing decision here. It's, it's really not a good one. We pray, Lord, that you will uh, help us not to make these bad decisions, but now we're going to see it. So thank you for providing a human king. We'll see how that works out. It's the end of the line of the judges. It's just too bad that so often your people are looking in the wrong direction. Help us to be right. We must submit to your plan, and sometimes your plan is actually turns out to be punishment for us. May we be agreeable to the human king. If they thought there was trouble before a king, well, we'll see what comes. Today, Lord, we want to be right. We pray that you will be our leader. Help us to be careful of trusting in the human leadership plan and always trust in the divine plan. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friends... We're going to get a human king and see how that goes when we get the whole history in front of us. But we, always, we should remember God is our king. He wants to be our king. There's no improvement on that. There just isn't. And we'll, we'll learn that here. All right. Hey, God be with you today.